Hello everyone, I want to show you how you can update design of any layout on your website. So this video isn't going to be about some specific layout, it's rather general principles you can use to change any design of any layout on your website. The video is going to have a few key points. First one is showing you how you can update design using modules settings. Second one showing you how to use master CSS file, then explaining you how to update an element when you can't find an option or the CSS for it and we will be uh, doing that using browsers developer tools. In the end we will cover some potential issues you might encounter after making your changes. So let me immediately start with the first one and that's updating design using module settings. Updating design using module settings is something you're already familiar with most probably. For example, if you would like to change the background of the first section we have here, you can hover over it using Visual Builder, click section settings and simply change the background. And how easy is that? However, this time I want to go more into details. When you hover over an element and go to settings, you'll see three tabs you can select content, design and advanced tab content is obviously for changing the content in this example we could change the title and you can see as you type the title is changed on the page you can add some additional content change the URL and more the second tab is design and this is the tab you are going to use the most when updating design there are a lot of options you can change here. I'm going to go just through a couple of them to give you an insight what you can change here. For instance, you can change the title uh, size or in sizing section, you can change the image width or the content width. And that leaves us with the third tab called advanced. Here you can assign your module a unique ID or a class name. But most often what you are looking for here is custom CSS section. Uh, here usually modules have custom CSS added. So a lot of module design that couldn't be made by uh, simply changing the module settings in design tab uh, is done using custom CSS. So make sure to check advanced tab as well when updating the CSS. Perhaps what you're looking for is uh, exactly here. Once you're done with the updates, don't forget to save the module. When you want to update something, but you can't find an option for it in up in design tab and there is no CSS in advanced tab, you might want to look in master CSS file. Let me show you how you can open master CSS file. Depending of what plugin you use, you should go to settings and click the plugin name. In this example, I'm using Pixie Assistant. So I'll go to Pixie Assistant and open master CSS file. All the CSS will open in a new window. Copy everything, then open your text editor and paste the CSS into it. I'm using Notepad++, it's a really great text editor that I can recommend to you. In this example here I have a grand person module loaded and this is how you find the CSS uh, related to the module you, you're looking for. Master CSS file is really well commented. That means that comments here are uh, as instructions for you so you can easily find what you're looking for. Uh, when you want to find what you need you can open up a uh, search box and then type the layout name. In this example as I already said I'm using a grand person module so that's what I want to find. So all the CSS under this comment is related to grand person module. And let's make some updates to this design. Let's change this arrow, for example. For that, I'm going to change the arrow symbol here. Also, I'll change the color 
obviously this is going to change the description color on member hover. So just read the comments and you'll easily find what you need to change. When you're done, uh, copy the blocks of CSS where you made your changes. You can also get rid of the lines you didn't change. When you copy it, then go back to the page, click edit page, then go to the page settings and paste the CSS inside custom CSS box. Click save and update. And let's preview. Well, this is not looking so well, but as you can see, we made the changes to the design of this module using the master CSS file. The color is now red and the arrow symbol is uh, kind of different. And that is how you use master CSS file. When you don't know where to change the design of an element on your page and you already checked the module settings and master CSS file, there is a really great, uh, let me say, trick that uh, can help you uh, find where to change it and that's using browsers developer tools. All the major browsers have these tools and you can fire it by pressing F12 on your keyboard. Something like this will appear. I'm using Mozilla, but it's really uh, similar on Chrome as well and other browsers. Uh, these developer tools have uh, many great options. This time I'm going to, uh, to present you the one you're going to use the most and that's inspect element tool, uh, this icon here. With that tool enabled, you can hover over the elements and you'll notice this uh, selection over the element. And when you press the element uh, in rules tab here, uh, style information will pop up. So I click this text here and you can see here that it automatically tells me that it has some width assigned, padding and font weight. Let's click something else, for example this solution text here. And as you can see it also tells me that uh, the color of that word is black and it, that it has font weight uh, bold. But something more important is here what we are looking for and that's this text uh, in blue here. You can see that it tells me in what file this CSS here is located. And that's pixiemaster.css file and it also tells you on what line exactly. So for instance if you open pixiemaster.css file on the line one, there's the uh, this CSS, and that's how you know where design of particular elements are when you can't find them. Now let me click this whole module here, uh, module uh, header. You can see that instead of file name, it tells me inline, uh, and what inline is? Well, that means that there is no particular file uh, where this CSS is located in. Instead, this CSS is located in uh, module options. So whenever you see inline, you should look in module options. And that's it, that's how you find where some style is located. Let me also really quickly tell you what to do when you can't see anything changed on your website. So for instance you updated the CSS but your website remains the same and you don't see changes at all. Again go to settings and then uh, plug in assistant page. You'll find links about caching the pages and uh, why you should never develop websites with caching enabled and also how to properly clear the cache. So make sure to read that too and also I can uh, suggest going to DV theme options and just uh, disabling this option here, minifying and combining CSS files. Also disable builder, uh, in builder uh, tab static CSS file generation. And that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.